YouTube. Pete Norfolk Chili Head, how are you all doing? I'm back once again on Spicy Saturday with another hot sauce review for you. Today, once again, we've got a brand new company which we've never featured before on the channel. Always love checking out new companies, so this one's going to be really interesting. I'm talking about the company called Born to Hula, and this is their Ghost of Ancho Chili Sauce. And this one looks really cool. I like the artwork, the kind of the blue ghostly sort of chili pepper that you can see there. And this is a company that was founded in uh, 2010, so they're still relatively new on the scene. Um, but they've got a nice little range of sauces, and uh, I'm looking forward to trying these. Um, so in the ingredients list we have distilled white vinegar, red bell pepper, ancho chilli, habanero peppers, smoked bucciolokias, garlic, salt, onion powder, uh, cumin, lime juice, and xanthan gum. And if you want to check these guys out, you can go to borntohula.com. Um, it also says this one is an award-winning... Uh, uh, so, sorry, a multi-award winning pepper blend that adds a sweet smoky heat to all your favourite dishes and recipes. It says, warning, it's hot, it's not for the weak. Well, let's find out if I'm weak or not, shall we? Just giving it a good old shake. It's got a nice colour to it. It's got kind of got that sort of a sort of darker brown sort of chilli colour. Uh, kind of like it's been sort of charred or roasted or something. Um, the kind of colour that you'd get from a chipotle kind of sauce. And it does say this one's smoky, so... Um, sounds uh, and looks like it's going to be really good. So let's crack it open and uh, see what we've got, shall we? Yeah, definitely. Really kind of a sweet aroma, um, really kind of definitely smoky as well. That's um, obviously coming from those smoked boots. Quite unusual to see smoked um, boot jalokias in a sauce. Um, normally you just get the, the standard um, boot jalokias, but. Um, Doing the smoked version is a bit of a, a nice twist, I guess. But yeah, I can smell some garlic coming through. It smells sweet, smoky, and um, kind of a nice sort of chilli aroma as well. So I'm going to get some on the spoon here and uh, see how this one tastes. Uh, so let's have a look. It's got a nice consistency. It flows really well, but it's got some chunks in there, some seeds, all kinds of stuff going on. So um looks like it's going to be pretty... Uh, nicely textured. So, uh, without further ado, guys, down the hatch. Mm. That's got some heat to it. Building all the time. Kind of a uh, spreading around the mouth, just getting rid of these uh, seeds. Quite a few seeds uh, floating around in there. Yeah, that's definitely got some heat to it, guys. Um, spreading all over the mouth, really going for the for the roof of the mouth, spreading towards the front of the tongue. Wow, really zipping on the on the front of the tongue there killing the back of the throat as well this is the hot sauce i've had in quite a while to be honest i haven't really had that many hot sauces recently i've mainly mainly been going through the ones that i've already got opened in the fridge so um it's been a while since i've tried a new one and um this one's definitely got some heat to it guys um this would definitely be one for the chili heads um it's got a really nice kick to it all over mouth burn it's going for the lips, the roof of the mouth, the back of the throat, the tongue. Um, it's really, really, really strong. Um, Heat-wise, uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd probably go for about a 7 on this one. I think it's pretty damn strong. Uh, most people would find it quite strong, in my opinion. Uh, Flavour-wise, um, we've got, like it says on the, on the bottle, it, it, it's got a nice kind of sweetness to it. It's definitely got a, a really good chilli flavour as well. Um, and it's got that nice little bit of smokiness coming through as well, uh, which is really good. I, I, I get the feeling that this would be great rubbed on a steak or something like that um, before you before you grill it or, or barbecue it or something. Kind of like a, almost as a marinade sort of uh, sort of a sauce. Um, the chili flavour is really nice as well. It's got a, a nice mixture of sort of like the sweeter notes, things like coming from the from the onions. You've got the garlic in there, but the, the chili flavour still comes through without being overpowering. Um, so all in all, this is a really good sauce. Um, 
I can see this being used in a, a variety of different ways, like I say, um, in barbecues and particularly with meats and things like steaks and that sort of stuff. Um, sorry guys, the camera isn't really focusing there, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, the, the, there's lots of uh, nice ways that you could use this. Um, like I say, it is uh, one of the stronger ones I've had in a while, and so probably will take a little bit of a while to get through this one. Um, but it's definitely worth trying out, particularly for the chilli heads out there. I think most guys will really love it. Um, if you're a chilli head. Uh, so, um, flavour wise, I'd probably give it, a, again, probably about a 6 out of 10. Tastes pretty good, um, but like I say, the, the heat is is the the real sort of uh, uh, thing that you'll remember about this sauce, definitely. It's it's got a proper all over mouth burn, um, which is really, really good. So definitely one for the chilli heads to try out. Thanks for watching guys, I've been Pete the Norfolk Chilli Head and I'll see you all very soon once again uh, with another review. Catch you all later.